Mike struggled with addiction for a really long time, and on one particular night, after years of sobriety and a divorce, Mike made the unfortunate decision that he was going to go back on the bottle. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't have said it better. In fact, it was such a thought out process that Mike had even decided he was going to go to his AA meeting before he went on his drinking binge. Of course, at that meeting, he didn't say anything about what he was about to do, and he was going to head out to the bar. But nonetheless, he went to the meeting, and after that meeting, he thought first he'd stop by the ATM, have enough money to pay for his drinking pinch for the night, and then he noticed his car was towards empty, so he stopped at the gas station, went in, and decided to fill his car with gas. And he, as he was sitting there, putting gas in the car, he looked up at that cloudless night, into the dark, and he said this, God, all I gotta do is to walk into that gas station and pay. It's the last thing I'm gonna do before I head out for a hard night of drinking. So I want you to stop me from going out and getting bombed tonight. If that's something you wanna do, here's your window. And he made one of those infamous deals with God. <laughs> Anybody made one of those? Don't raise your hand. <laughs> but that's what he did. Then he walked from the gas station to pay for his fill-up. Third in line, anxiously waiting, gets to the clerk when he felt a tap on his shoulder. Mike turned around. It's a friend of his, he's known as a teenager, that he had actually helped through addiction. And so the man asked Mike, hey, how you doing? And Mike was somewhat startled and said, well, you know, I've had better days, but I'm okay. He goes, you look a little bit stressed out. Mike, not wanting to prolong the encounter, it's a great scene. You'll hope you have a really good night. Turn around, leaving the guy to just leave the gas station. So Mike gets up, finishes paying his bill, and uh, leaves the gas station. He's face to face with his friend, who had waited for him outside the gas station door, just to tell him this: "I see you're not in great shape, Mike. And I just want you to know one thing: you're a really good guy." He turned around, walked away into the darkness. Mike said that statement made such an impression on him that he got back in his car and he drove home and he went to bed in silence. Didn't go to the bar, 